way you've gone about it is just completely wrong. What do you mean? Like the whole not taking the pill situation yeah, and I know. saying that you're forgetting. Do you not think that's a really immature thing to say? Yeah, but I'm not going to apologise for getting to take the pill, do you know what I mean? Like the morning after pill. I said to you the next day, I said I need to go to Asda and get the morning after pill. I also went there and I had to do the food shop. Why would I have said that if I had no intentions of doing so it? you can say that you forgot to take oh it. Oh my God, Charlie. I'm not going to lie, am I? I think you are lying. I forgot to get the morning after pill. I've had a lot on my mind, Charlie, yeah. What, food? Yeah. How is food more important than getting the pill? If you know in your head you've gone there yeah, but It's the not pill. just the, the food shop. It's like sorting Theodore out, yeah? Keeping, like, keeping on top of everything. What are you going to do, run away now? You planned it. Oh, yes, because I've planned it. Because you're so amazing, Charlie, and you helped me so much. Why don't you be a man and take some responsibility, Charlie? I have. You haven't. When I'm not on contraception, then yeah, you should. And that's your fault for not wanting to. Why would you want to bring another baby into our situation, then? I didn't plan it. Get it out of your head. I didn't want a baby. If you wanted a baby, maybe you should have had it with someone that wants another one. Do you not understand where I'm coming from here? For me, it burns me the fact that I can't choose with my missus and plan to have a kid. All right, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm scared too. It's not just you though, do you know what I mean? I understand you're gonna be scared as well. All I wanted was just for you to just apologize the way that this has happened. <laughs> I regret the way I reacted. I should have given you a kiss on the cheek and told you I was gonna be there for you no matter what. I'm trying to give my family the best life they can have. I try my best. Deep down, I'm excited to have another baby because I love him to pieces. Just for me, it wasn't the right time right now. But if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I want it to be the best situation and show him the best life he can, she or he can have. Yeah, and I want to be there for you and make your life good as well. Well, welcome. Um, it's nice to see you here. So, who would like to start? You can. No, you can start if you want. Well, you may as well start, because one of the reasons we're here. <laughs> Just say what's on your mind. So basically, uh, I've been, well, a couple of, was it a month ago or so, I was diagnosed with depression. And it's just been hard the past couple of weeks. We're trying to sort of have a conversation about it, but it just keeps going into an argument. OK. Um, it is hard when you've got depression. It's hard even to get the energy to get out of bed in the morning on occasion. Yeah, that's it. I just don't... I just feel like I've just... I just can't be bothered. Do you know what I mean? I just can't... can't be bothered. I've got no energy. Um, yeah, I just... sort of gave up. Do you know what I mean? I just like, can't be bothered. That almost felt hard to say. Yeah. Just take a minute. Hello? Hello? Pass me my phone, you freak. Is this Kirsty? Pass me my phone! Hello? It's so frustrating. I know it's Kirsty on the phone. Every time me and Steve try to move forward, he gets pulled back by her. What did she say? She said, what am I doing? The thing is, if you weren't here now, you'd be on the phone to each other for about an hour. You'd probably go and meet in it. I'm not getting into this now. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to go in a minute. Yeah, can you go now then, please? You don't want nothing to do with me, do you? Take your stuff, leave my house. You don't need to be around no more, right? I didn't expect her to ring me, so I'm just not getting the stress off you. Well, guess what, love? You're going to end up with absolutely nobody because you're ringing your ex all the time. We've been getting on and stuff. Yo, yo, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? I'm leaving you both to it now. You can both get out of my life. Mate. I had no contact with a girl in two weeks. She wanted nothing to do with me. Oh my god, you're a liar. Just go. Like, you just can't leave each other alone, man. So, what? Well, I'm just. I haven't seen her in ages. Why doesn't matter. Like, it's not all about seeing.
seen each other. It's about right, ringing, right, texting right, and right, stuff right. like that. Yeah. 